And forasmuch as my hand hath offended, writing contrary to my heart, therefore my hand shall first be punished. For when I come to the fire, it shall first be burned. And as for the Pope, I refuse him as Christ's enemy, and Antichrist, with all his false doctrine. And as for the sacrament, I believe as I have taught in my book against the Bishop of Winchester, which my book teacheth so true a doctrine of the sacrament, that it shall stand in the last day before the judgment of God, where the papistical doctrines contrary thereto shall be ashamed to show their face. These words, spoken by former Archbishop of Canterbury, Thomas Cranmer, from the pulpit of St. Mary's Church in Oxford, must surely represent one of the most dramatic moments in Reformation history. Here he was, the architect of the English Reformation, weary and broken, and dragged out in public before his execution for one final purpose, to read out to an eager audience the formal retractions of his Protestant faith that he had signed, and to complete the triumph of Bloody Mary and the Papal Inquisitors. Instead, he spoke these words, lamenting his unworthy right hand that had written contrary to his heart, and pledging anew his commitment to the Protestant faith. Chaos ensued as he continued to speak, and he was pulled down from the pulpit by bewildered church leaders. As he came to the stake to be burnt, he kept his vow, plunging his right hand into the fire until it was burnt away, and dying at last with the words of Stephen on his lips, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Cranmer's recantations, elicited after months of psychological torture, focused on two key issues, the authority of the Pope and the doctrine of transubstantiation. Thus, he explicitly rejects both here in his final speech. His book against the Bishop of Winchester had been a defense of the reformed doctrine of the spiritual presence of Christ in the Eucharist, written against Stephen Gardiner, now serving as Lord Chancellor of England and presiding over the persecution of Protestants. On this point, Cranmer's inquisitors had concentrated much of their efforts, and indeed no doctrine occasioned half as much bloodshed in the 16th century as this one sticking point of transubstantiation. Why? Why were Protestants so concerned to reject it, and why were the Catholics so concerned to defend it at all costs? To learn more about this issue and the circumstances surrounding Cranmer's martyrdom, check out our Reformation Reader, coming out just in time for the 500th anniversary of the Protestant Reformation.